Hi, I'm Keiko and today I'm going to show you how I make these little bears. They're actually very easy. It just takes a little bit longer because there are a few more steps, but um, if you don't want to add the arms and legs, um, you can actually make them a little faster and make little ornaments like this. So I'll show you when I stop at this point and you can make them even smaller like this. So it's a great easy project but I will show you all the way to the end in making the little bears with the arms and legs and they're extra fun since you can um, dress them up, change them up and you can do a little heart <laughs> for Valentine's or just if you want to give it to somebody you absolutely adore. Um, you can make it into a little holiday bear by adding a little Christmas tree, maybe a Halloween, create a little pumpkin. So I do have a little pumpkin video, so if you're watching this around fall, you can create a little pumpkin in addition to the bear and make it really cute and autumn fall-like. Um, or maybe back to school teachers, you can get a little apple, you can make a little apple like that. Or maybe even a tiny little chick for a baby shower or I don't know anything you like or maybe even a flower for Mother's Day um, any really occasion so I do have a separate video on the flowers so the couple of the ones I do have um, videos but just be creative have fun um, and we'll get started so let me just go over the um, material so you'll want some white bats and this really takes very little material so you'll want um, actually I wrote it down six grams or 0.2 one ounce um, of white wool that's how much my bears weigh right now and I'm going to show you how to make this one today so all I need are the extra little black for the eyes pinch of black and um, little lamb locks but you can be really creative and do whatever you like um, I do have some kits on Etsy I don't know if I have a bear kit actually I don't have a bear kit yet but I have a couple um, supply kits that um, have plenty of materials that you could create your bear and all the other little things to go with it um, so if you like to support my shop definitely check it out for me um, Okay, so I'm going to close up so you can see the um, what I'm doing better. <laughs> All right, be back. Okay, so I'm back and just wanted to give you a rough size. So this one is about three inches tall, which is like seven and a half centimeters. Okay, and oops, like that. And this little one with a little tiny tiny bear smaller ones are actually harder to make <clears throat> and this one's about two and a half inches and what is that sorry about six and a half well it's, I don't know six and a half almost seven centimeters <laughs> so just a rough idea okay so the first step oh baby little baby is to take the white um, wool and I'm going to since I think I weighed it about five six grams I'm going to take a little bit off for the arms legs and ears and little nose part so um, I do always have a little extra wool so this bear actually this one might be easier to see so this bear is in one body part which I'm going to make right now and show you one body part and then I add a little crease on the neck and then um, I have ears that are attached and the little muzzle or I don't know what that's called I think it's a muzzle the little part that goes forward um, where the nose is um, I add a little bit there and then I attach the arms the legs and a little tail so let's see that's not that many pieces so you can work in um, pieces <laughs> okay so I'm going to just go ahead and roll this wool and just to make it a little smoother I'm just going to kind of fold it in 
and if you want to kind of get a rough size you can always sort of measure it so that's about three inches and it's going to sort of um, get smaller and I think I said this was three inches so I might be making this slightly smaller <laughs> okay so to roll like that and I'm gonna take I think this is a 36 gauge needle so I'm going to poke it to um, secure and you'll want to kind of roll it around um, so it doesn't get stuck to your phone. So the 36 gauge needle is going to poke bigger holes, but since this is more of a core fiber and you're creating the shape, it's okay. Um, it does felt faster. So the 36 gauge is more for um, shaping, um, <laughs> shaping <laughs> and coarser fiber. And if you don't like these little holes, um, we can you can always add a little more fiber at the end to smooth it out. And then I'm going to use a 40 gauge needle to, um, and that creates only smaller um, holes. Okay, so then I'm going to be poking the ends in. So this is going to be either the head end or the bottom end. Whoops. Let's see, where can I put you so you're not in my way? Okay, and the more you poke, the smaller and firmer your figure is going to get. Um, and how soft you want it is really up to you. I kind of like it somewhat firm so that um, it will hold shape pretty well. Um, but for the demo purpose, I'm probably going to go a little on the softer side so I can keep going and show you the process. So, oh, and as far as like breaking needles or, you know, trying to make sure you don't break needles, um, as long as you poke the needle in the direction and pull it out in the same direction, I didn't say that quite right. So you poke the needle in the direction, like one direction, and then poke it out the same direction. So that's totally okay. So it doesn't have to be like up and down or specific movement. It's, you just want to keep it consistent in the way you use it. So you don't want to be putting it in and then moving it and then pulling it out. That's going to potentially break it. So, and also the other thing is only this little part is barbed. So really you don't need to put it in any further than like up to here. So you, there's no real reason to go any deeper than like this much. So right here. So that's usually the other way you'll break your needle is if you put it in too far and you end up hitting a hard surface. Okay. All right. So this is kind of like the first bit that I have, and that's going to be the main body. Um, and then now I'm going to um, work where the neckline would be. So I'm just going to poke it where the neckline would be. And normally, you know, I would be spending a little bit more time to clean it up, but I want to show you the process and you can always take more time to um, make it look exactly the way you want it. Okay, so that's my neckline right there. So it looks like this is going to be my head. Okay. So. I've got this a little too bumpy, so I think what I'll do, because this is a head of the bear, um, I'm going to clean it up a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and add a little. So I'm grabbing a little bit of this fiber, and I think I'll just do a quick <laughs> whoop, belt, sort of like that. <clears throat> Sorry. Quick little felting in my hand. And then... I'm going to cover it like this to smooth out the surface since it's the top of the bear's head. And then I'm going to use my finer gauge needle. So I think this one's maybe a 40 gauge. So you see how I kind of quickly fix that? <laughs> and that's really all you need to do. It's really nice. Um, okay.
and I can do that for any part of the body but right now I'm just gonna keep on with the process so the next thing I'm going to make I'm gonna go ahead and make the muzzle so I'm just going to roll this up sort of like this gently and two ways you can just put it right on the um, body and poke it in around or you can sort of um, hold it in place and shape it to the exact shape and look you want first on your phone. Oh, wrong way, sorry. Okay. And um, do it that way. So here I am using the finer gauge needle since it's going to be um, on the surface more and I'm shaping versus no, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm shaping it neatly there. <clears throat> so I have a little muzzle and I'm just going to go ahead and place it and poke it in place. So uh, let's see, I can use, eh, I think I'll just use the 40 gauge. Okay. So I'm just attaching this right here. Now if you ever see like a stray hair, that stray like black fiber here, I'm not sure you can see it. Um, it's, I'm going to point it with a needle. If you can kind of see the little stray black fiber and that bothers you, um, you can just pull it out by carefully um, putting the needle under because I'm only doing like one strand you don't want to do it with too much or you will break your needle and then you just pull it out <laughs> okay so continuing on so the muzzles on and you can always sort of shape stuff with your fingers and then um, poke it further in place Okay, so so far I have a little cute muzzle nose and the body. Now I'm going to work on the ears. Let me show you a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to try to get like two similar sizes. And you can make your ear a couple different ways. Um, I think I'm going to just roll it around a little bit like that and sort of make it come together into a circle and then poke it into shape. Okay, and then I'm going to test it first to see if I like the size. So backwards, backwards. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I got too many little things. And if it looks okay, I'll try to make the other one similar in size or same as much as possible. And if you want the little pink spot, um, this would be a good time to put it on. Okay, I'm leaving a little bit of the fluff here <clears throat> to make it easier to attach. So, let me see if I can. So all I'm doing is I'm just kind of folding it and then sort of shaping it with my fingers. Like that. Okay. And then poking it in place. So these are the ears and I'm going to need two and you can take your time to um, make it exactly how you like it. You might want it smaller, larger. Okay, so okay, a little bit more poking. And if it's not thick enough, you just get a little bit of fiber and add it on top. If it's too big, you can poke it and sort of flatten it and firm it up, or you can take a little bit off and then sort of redo it a little bit. Okay, so now that I have my ears, 
I'm going to remove a little bit of the excess um, wool so it's not too much. And then um, I'm gonna figure out where I want it on the head. <clears throat> so I'm gonna fluff this up a little bit like this. You see that? Yeah, kinda like that. And then I can just put it right on like this. I'm gonna hold it and poke. I'm gonna do the initial poke lightly just in case I need to move it. Looks a little too far on the top, so I'm going to maybe tilt the ear a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so if I like that position, um, I'm not gonna poke it in fully yet because I wanna make sure the two ears are matched and balanced. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here. Okay. And again, I'm gonna poke it in lightly just to see if I'm happy with the spacing. Okay. So it looks like this so far. I think I'm good with that. And now I'm going to sort of poke this in further and clean it up. Okay, and I'll just kind of continue so we can um, move this along. Okay, so the next step is going to be making their little eyes, which is fun, and nose. So I'm going to take a little bit of the black fluff so you can use roving, um, roving black roving black bat B A T T, um, or you can just get a little bit of black fiber and sort of fluff it up after it's been washed. So this is actually fluffed um, black fleece. Okay, and the easiest way for me is to just roll these up in your fingers. And you can always use like, you know, beads or plastic or glass ice. Um, I just like to have everything here and make it all with fiber for ease. I don't have to go get my glue and find my eyes that are in one of the bins or doors somewhere <laughs> in my craft room. <laughs> okay, so I will look at my eyes and see how they look. I think they're okay and I'll also place them and see if they're okay. So again, I'm gonna tap it in lightly for placement and size. And you can always make more little eyeballs and see how it goes. Actually, this looks all right. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm just poking away gently and carefully. Okay, so I think that's good. And then now I'm going to make the nose. So same process, same little black fiber. You don't need a whole lot. So now I only need one, so I'm just going to create the size I want. I'm just gonna roll it up in my hands. And this time, instead of a complete circle, I'm gonna make it a little more into a sausage shape. There. And this is something you can also just go directly on the animal, on the body, or you can sort of shape it. It's really hard to see. I'm sorry, because the foam is dark. But you can kind of see what I'm doing, prepping it on the foam and then placing it on the nose and again tapping it in lightly to see if I like the size and the shape yeah and I'm actually currently outlining the um, nose so I'm not doing the center yet I'm just doing the edges to see how I like it There's the nose. <laughs> okay, and if you like it just like that, that's fine. Um, if you wanna give the little white part of the eye, 
All you have to do is take a really tiny bit of white and do the same thing like you did with the eyes. Roll it really tight. Okay, really, really, really tight. And you want these to be just a little speck. And then depending on where you put it, they'll look a little different. So I think I'm going to go towards the top. That looks too big to me. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a little big, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, it's a little big, but let's just do it. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Where is the camera? Where is the camera? There it is. Nope. Where are you? Okay, there we go. So you can kind of see how I did that. I'm so sorry. It's reverse. Okay. So at this point, um, if you wanted to just kind of do the little ornament style, you can be done. Almost. Almost. So. I'm going to just tell you what you can do. So if it's for the holidays, you can take some red and put it around and just tap it in like you would. You can even add a little, um, I think it's called a holly, <laughs> right here. Okay. And then you can uh, put a yarn and make it into a little Christmas tree ornament. Um, otherwise, you can um, do it just like this one and add a little, um, if it's like a year-round um, thing, you can just, oh, sorry, put this around the neck and add a little flower and make it into ornament. You can add a little string, so you can be done. But I'm going to go ahead and continue with the arms and legs. Let me... Okay, so I'm back <laughs> and I'm going to now make his arms and legs and finish him completely. So the, I like to make my arms a little smaller than the legs. Um, so what I'm going to do, and this isn't like an exact thing, I'm going to go ahead and take like two similar um, sized wool. You can always add to it or subtract from it. So. I'm going to take something like this and then um, to make it a little easier, I'm going to kind of fold the top in a little bit and then roll. So I'm sure there are more techniques <laughs> that you can use. Um, I think I've seen people put it like on a wooden skewer. Okay, but I just do it by hand. Okay, so I roll it up. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to use my finer needle here, which is my 40 gauge, I think. <laughs> I think that's what I'm using. <laughs> okay. And you can always add little bare paw prints. Those are so cute um, on the paws. But I'm just going to go like that, make one. Okay. And I'm going to keep this loose so I have an easy way to attach it. So this is my little hand, and it's a little soft. And I'm going to attach it and see how I like it. So, good. Okay, so then my goal is to make a matching arm. Now, if this came out a little too thick, then I would have um, tested it as legs and see if that would work for me. But it looks pretty good. Okay, so... This is going to be my other arm, and so I'm kind of eyeballing it, eyeballing it. And I'm going to be poking it, just like I did with the other one. And keep rotating it so it doesn't get stuck. Okay, so this is really it for now. And then I'm going to see if they're close enough for me. 
I think they're pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach these. Okay, so I'm going to attach one really lightly. And check placement. If I like it, I'm going to try the other hand. So it's close enough for me for right now, especially for demo purposes. <clears throat> so now that I like where it's placed, I'm going to tap these in and secure it better. And if you want your hands, bare hands, to be like in a specific, okay, actually I'll show you a quick fix. So. I'm looking at it now and this arm looks longer to me. So what I'm going to do is since it's going to uh, felt in the direction you um, poke, I'm going to hold the little hands and poke the fiber more into his shoulders like this. So it's very gently and carefully. I'm kind of poking. Actually, did I cover that up? Okay, so this way. So I'm just kind of gently, very little bit. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, so you can kind of see how I did that and how it went in further. Um, and so you can always make it a little more perfect if you want, but I'm going to continue on. But you just saw a really um, easy way to fix the length. Okay. So now I'm going to do the uh, legs, and the legs are going to need to be a little bigger. So let's see. So I'm just grabbing more fiber. And sort of, you know, you can always just sort of tease it and shape it how you want. Okay, and then I'm going to fold the top a little bit. And just put it here. And you can just poke it in place if that makes it a little easier. Not a lot, just lightly. Okay. And I'm going to roll. You see? Mostly. <laughs> okay. Roll, 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 roll. Okay. And then I'm going to poke like I did before. As I roll. Poking and rolling. Poking and rolling. And then I definitely want to um, poke in the end to make sure that um, it's secured well. Okay. So there's my first leg, and I'm going to see how that looks. Oh, sorry, little guy. Okay. Okay, so it's... That, I think that might work. It's a little bigger, but it might give this bear a little more of a stable, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Something similar to that. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna shape it a little bit, fold it like I did with the other one. I'll go ahead and do that to keep it a little more neat. And then rolling. Okay, there we go. And then poking again. Okay, poke, poke. So each piece is really not hard. Um, there are just a few more pieces when you want the, the arms and legs, but um, it doesn't make it any harder. So even if you're a beginner, this needle felting um, bear, needle felted bear is really um, great. Great project, as long as you have some patience. <laughs> and I'm actually doing this in real time. So if you're doing it along with me, hopefully it's not taking too, too long. All right, so I'm 
relatively happy with these. I think they're not quite exactly the same, but for demo, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, that's stupid. That's okay. All right, so I like this leg, and I'm going to um, secure it in place by just poking it in. Okay, so that to me is a little too far out. That's kind of too much. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Okay, so I think I like that better. Better length. Okay. And I'm going to try to match the other side. Yeah. So I already see the problem. Okay, so this one was probably a little longer. So just taking a little bit off. And sorry, I can't see that. Poking it in. Yes. Okay. No, that still looks too, see, okay. See how that looks? <laughs> that looks really bad. <laughs> That's kind of too big and it's way too forward. See if you can see that. Yeah, don't like that at all. Okay, so probably um, com, um, com, it's, it's actually something that happens a lot because it's really hard to get something to look exactly the same um, in terms of like the leg size, the arm size, ear size. So all you have to do um, is to just maybe take it off and refelt it. You can always make a new one too. Sometimes starting from scratch is better. And just make it maybe a little smaller so you just add to it. Um, it's a little harder to take off from it when it's a little too big. Okay. Okay. Now this one looks too small, see? <laughs> That's all right. So I'm going to go ahead and add that on. And that's exactly why um, I'm only tapping it in, right, so that I can take it off and fix it if I need to. So now I tighten that one too much. That one looks too big. Um, I'm going to just show you another way to fix it. So it's a little harder on the bear, but now I want to see what I'm doing. So you can adjust the legs like this so you don't overcorrect it. Okay, I think that's a lot closer. So, good that you get to see the process. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to um, poke these in for good for now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so from the front, that looks really pretty, pretty good. Um, but I'm looking at the back and I'm not too happy. And this will probably be something you're going to come across with different projects. So see how it's not really even and it looks really limp. Um, all you have to do is get more fiber, just a little bit. You really don't need a whole lot. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just do a light that way it's a little easier to manage and I'm just going to patch it up so I think I want a little more here so so let me just show you again okay so I'm just covering where I don't really like all the seams and I'm going to poke it in gently with the finer gauge needle ooh and look at how easily it already looks so much cleaner and nicer Okay, and that stray black fiber here, I'm going to pull that out while I see it. Okay. All right. So that is another quick fix that you can do. Way better, right? And again, if you have more time, just take the time you want to make it exactly how you want it. But that's just a technique you can use. And... Also, like on the bottom too, you can always kind of fix that or poke it in more. 
to flatten it so the bear is as stable as you can um, get, get it to be. Okay. And now I'm going to make the tail. <laughs> so I'm just taking more wool, kind of rolling it up into a little ball like this. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm just going to secure here real quick. Okay. And then I want it to be fluffy. So that's how it's looking right now. I think I'm happy with it. So I'm going to fluff this little bit so it looks like that. And then I'm going to put it on the bear. Bears. This way? This way. Okay. And then I'm going to first just sort of poke it gently. That's about the right spot. So then I'm going to poke it. in better and what I'm going to then do is poke around the edges so that I can leave the little um, tail round and fluffy there that's it and you'll want to do like kind of a once over and um, tidy up the little bits and pieces um, but we'll, we'll move on <laughs> okay so now I'm going to do the little decoration ah! <laughs> to make them look like this. Okay. So these are actually lamb locks, but you can use surrey alpaca locks or mohair. Those are cute too. I, I think I hand dyed these um, myself. <laughs> I can't always remember which one I did myself because I have a bunch. Um, and all you're doing is just poking it in place, however you want it to look. So, so I want it to go like that on this side. And since I want it to be like a wreath around the neck, I'm going to get a little bit more. These are really cute little ones. And I'm just poking, 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 poking. Need a little more. Okay. Okay. So you can secure that. And then I'm taking, ooh, so many choices. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to make it like a flower on the side. So since these are already kind of curly locks, I'm just going to poke it in pretty freely. And here's your bear. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye now.